What makes a sandwich go from boring to amazing? Seasoning and toasting the bread can seriously elevate a sandwich. At the best sandwich places, all the vegetables are basically prepared like side dishes. Marinated, seasoned, grilled, or something. Someone else making it. Salt and pepper on the veggies. For cold cut sandwich I like to add red wine vinegar, pepper, oregano, and a bit of salt. Cutting it in half, diagonally. Oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano. Hot jar de ninura. Peppers in some manner. Maybe pickled banana peppers, or pepper relish, black pepper, even fresh peppers or hot sauce. Good quality bread, and real butter. Once you've got those two elements properly nailed down the filling is almost irrelevant. This future BuzzFeed TM article is brought to you by the tangy taste of Miracle Whip TM. Pickled peppers, peppercini. Sweet and spicy mustard. Garlic dill pickle slices. A nice mutton, lettuce and tomato sandwich, where the mutton is nice and lean and the tomato is ripe. They are so perky, I love that. Hunger. It's amazing how amazing even a boring sandwich can taste when you're famished. Pesto. Bread has to be toasted. Hot mustard. The good stuff. Our eat sandwiches assemble. In my opinion, dressing your greens is critical to a sandwich getting to that next level. Typically, for cold cuts, this is a vinaigrette style dressing for me. But in hot sandwiches e.g. thr roast pork at dinic's in Philly the greens are braised and thereby dressed as well. A touch of olive oil or butter and some fresh salt and pepper will never fail you either. Trading American cheese for brie, adding orange marmalade then grilling with salted butter and once pulled from the pan while still sizzling quickly adding a little orange zest on top. Was one of our recipes for our restaurant back in the earlier 2000s no closed. I eat a lot of ham sandwiches. Throwing a regular sandwich into a panini press takes it to 11. Classic Lay's potato chips. In the sandwich, not as a side. Crisps. Cheese. It's always cheese. Adding hot sauce. If it has bacon, avocado or guacamole. Cucumber or pickles. Caramelized onion jam. It's a fucking game changer. Sourdough with Comte and Bellavitano espresso rub cheese, as a grilled cheese. I'm a simple man. Cheese. My mate once made an epic sandwich, full-size artisan loaf, yes loaf, cut it in half, butter, two full pack of Wiltshire dry cured ham, packet of cheese coleslaw, sliced tomato and lettuce salt and pepper too then just cut that in half one for me and one for him the thing weighed like three pounds. Was made for a day out for a band competition long day, lots of drinking too ate that thing after a hard day of boozing and playing with the band and it was like an orgasm in my mouth. Would recommend, 11.10. Caramelized onions. Also soup to dip in. Being at the beach. Fastest easiest way to raise a sammi to art is. Fold your meat. Make your sandwich non-homogeneous. Flat meat turns into a patty, folded meat enhances flavor and texture. Likewise, use hand-sliced cheese, not pre-sliced. Chopping off a block in varying thicknesses means each bite is subtly different, but with the same flavor profile. You are not a machine. Don't eat like one. A free one. Herba Mystica, apparently. Avocado. Bacon. Sprouts. A little crack cocaine about 10 seconds beforehand. Putting chips of some sort inside Cheetos fall under that. Honey mustard. A slice of a really good ripe tomato, preferably from a garden somewhere nearby, with salt on it. 
flicking it with pickle juice. Made a grilled cheese yesterday from good food don't judge, trying to eat healthier and this is the accessible option for my life right now and it was plain except for spreading red pesto on the bread before adding the cheese, made quite a difference. This might seem unconventional but I find that just a touch of paprika and 3-4 cup of cocaine really makes a sandwich pop. Red onion. A fried egg. Pickled red onions. They make you salivate from the acidity which allows you to taste more flavor from the sandwich. An olive on a toothpick, like in old-timey cartoons. I'm a slut for any sort of chipotle mayo or spicy aioli. Cheese, pickles, lettuce, mayonnaise I think are pretty important if you're making a sandwich. A you just. Cherry peppers, duh. Chutney. Not sure what it is called outside India. That green chutney can do wonders, if spread nicely. Good mustard and fresh lettuce. And during tomato season a nice heirloom one. Being gluten-free. Balsamic reduction. Sliced hard-boiled egg is shockingly amazingly on many different sandwiches. Wrap it tightly in butcher paper after making. The compression marries all the ingredients together and pushes condiments into the crevices of the bread. Even if you're just going to eat it right after making it, a little time wrapped up seriously improves the flavor and feel of the sandwich. Toast it, cowards. Ninety of sandwiches are a million times better toasted or pressed. Just take the extra three minutes and up your game. Try fasting for a long period of time. That first food you eat tastes way better. Pickled jalapenos. Though it makes my trip to the toilet go from boring to amazing in a different way. Kimchi. Oil and vinegar. Homemade bread. Sandwich masala. Avocado. There are a lot of great ideas in this thread. I have a panini pan and agree wholeheartedly with that one. A real easy thing, though, is to throw some fresh ground pepper and fresh oregano on your sandwich. Dried is okay too but fresh is delicious and easy to have on hand if you have a windowsill with room for a little pot. Sprouts Can't believe I haven't seen this comment. A fried egg the right amount of sauce. There should be just enough sauce to squeeze out the sides. Not more. Not less. Garlic, apple, and peppers. Coleslaw. Adding mayo. Always toast your bread. Potato chips, in the sandwich. A bit of mango chutney. A zesty sauce. MSG. Bean sprouts. Acid and fat. Mayo and mustard do this well, but think crispy chicken skin, red wine vinegar to make it even better. My wife thinks I'm trolling her about this, but it is 100 correct. I feel like I use too much of everything when I'm making one too and end up overloading it. For cheese sandwiches I put a little bit of salt olive oil and oregano and then toast it, so much better for so little. Add a little jardinera in with the mayo. Pickled. Red. Onions. Absolute game changer. Potbelly was is a sandwich chain. Broiling is using the top element in an oven to toast roast food. Quality bread mustard.